Uh, and let's talk about, oh, here we go. Uh, opening match of the Verdun North American Championships. Um, talking about the game uh, Verdun more broadly, what do you guys what do you guys think uh, makes it most attractive from a uh, from an esport and a, a competitive standpoint? Well, I think that most of the maps we play competitively are pretty balanced. Obviously, we play both halves, so even if they were unbalanced, um, each team would get to play each side. But I think having balanced maps is an important part for a, for an FPS esports game like this. The other thing is, I think it's, I think the amount of teamwork that it takes to be a very good team in this game is kind of under underestimated by a lot of people, because holding footholds and I don't know there's just not really any other FPS game type like the game type in this game that exists anywhere else Welcome to the front. so quickly yeah. go ahead from the start here we're gonna see Bigaloot staying by himself at the top here the rest of a AJ gonna be pushing to the right side this is a fairly standard tactic to push the right side on Artois as on Taunt um, we do have SMW kind of trying to spread out. This is a pretty normal thing you'll see. Fabian going to the far left. We might want to look and see what he's going to do. He's going to be f fighting off some of the AJ players. who are kind of uh, moving very slowly. Usually in your initial attack on this map, you want to be very quick and try and get into that right side before the uh, Germans can spread out and form any sort of defense. But we do see AJ taking a more kind of slow and methodical approach to their offense. So it'll be interesting to see how that pays off. Nord, I know you said that uh, this map, uh, especially this map, is going to uh, favor uh, the more offensive, the more aggressive. Uh, do you think uh, you think they're off to off to a mistake here, or is this is this on purpose? <laughs> well, you have to consider that both teams are a man down, so any okay. significant push is going to be um, slightly undermined by that, but. I'm not sure if it was a mistake or if this is intentional. Uh, I'm not sure if they are trying to play safe or trying to play risky. But well, right it now, it does not look like it's it's favoring them, the slow push. So. Well, they are going to get a bit of a foothold on the right there if they can spawn their teammates. Let's take a look at the squads here. We do have SMW running double recon, which is the standard competitive setup. Uh, and the Entente side, the AJ side, we're going to be seeing one Recon Squad and one Gas Squad. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. Uh, having a Gas Squad is definitely going to hamper your attack quite a bit, especially this initial attack, because the amount of time it takes your first Gas Strike to spawn in, uh, they won't be able to have a Gas Strike during this first attack phase. So they will definitely be hampered during this first attack phase, but in if they can get to future attack phases, um, they might be able to use that as an effective tool. So it sounds like average Joe playing the long game here. Yeah, that definitely seems how it seems. They're playing a very so slow-paced, methodical. They did get a few footholds, but SMW were able to react very well. Monica Novak, might want to look at her. her. She's pushing up very quickly, going to take out some players. Banshee and Fabian as well, just playing these sort of uh, nice picking angles where they're, they're only showing their head to the opponent and just picking them off. Very good play from them. And that and now it's going to be SMW on the attack. And that's most of Angry Joe, or not Angry Joe's, I keep calling them that for some reason. <laughs> uh, that's most of uh, Average Joe's uh, team wiped out and not in a good position to set up defense. We're going to see SMW take this hill straight away, which is a pretty important part of the map to control yeah. when attacking is on our, our, as our central powers. That might uh, that might turn Average Joe's into Angry Joe's if they keep getting walked on like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is true. Of course, like uh, SMW is already starting to cap the trench. Yep. Yeah, SMW SMW definitely having a more aggressive approach so far this game. On defense, you have to play a very um, uh, how do I say a uh, numbers game, where if there are more of the enemy team in the trench than the, than your team, then they're going to cap regardless of how you're doing. So it should be a goal for the defenders to not try and lose players and kill as many others as possible. Wow, SMW it looks like uh, they've already uh, taking the over the trench quickly so. here. Yeah, it seems they have already capped the trench at this point. Only mm -hmm. uh, Kaferin is left on that far left side by himself, while SMW control the middle of the trench and that right side. Um, the rest of 
AJ going to come up that left side, try and relieve Kafarin from uh, his situation. It seems like SMW is not entirely aware. Uh, good play by AJ to use that gas on that hill to kind of stop any sort of uh, pickers going up there and using that as a, a position of height to pick them off as they cross the no man's. Yeah, we'll That's see if that clears a little space for him. But I think SMW is aware that that gas means that AJ is going to be pushing on that left side and they've they moved the bulk of their their firepower over there to deal with that problem. So good reactions from SMW here on the defense so far. It looks like they are using the team chat. It's still being quite effective for them. Yep. Big Loot, the only one anywhere close right now to the trench. We might want to spectate, spectate him a little bit. Uh, he is in a pretty bad situation, kind of just waiting for some backup from his team to come. He's going to have to face Arcana and Funk in order to get into that trench. He's trying to prone ahead, but a teammate throws a grenade right behind him. That's not a very useful grenade. Of course, I do not believe we have team damage on for this tournament, so we won't have to worry about that, but these are yeah, no, some still, no friendly fire. These are still some wasted grenades from these players. Going it looks like they're still playing fairly passively. I think they're I think both sides honestly are kind of afraid to engage each other. So it certainly seems like SMW has the upper hand here. Do you think that uh, do you think that AJ is is making tactical errors or is SMW just landing their shots right now? Uh, it think... could be a combination of both. Um, the the thing with SMW is they do have competitive experience. They are familiar with how you're supposed to play there, and they're good at doing all the little tricks that are pretty common in uh, competitive play. And I don't think AJ just I don't think AJ just has that experience. Like. These aren't uh, players who have really played competitively. That's not to say they're bad players. I mean, some of them are doing quite well, but uh, they're they're hmm, this well, is kind of a different battlefield for them. And they also don't really have experience playing together. SMW have an entire season behind their belts playing together, forming a, you know a bond and having a sort of understanding of how each other play, what positions they like, stuff like that can make a big difference. Just and obviously just teamwork. The more you work together as a team, the better your teamwork's going to get. But we do see AJ getting a bit of a foothold here on the far left side. Ironstorm, the top fragger right now for AJ. We might want to spectate him, him a little bit. He's going to be going against Fabian and Arcana and the spawn of Funk and Monica as well. be interesting to see how he can hold them off. And he is going to take out Fabian, but he goes down to Funk. Yeah, he went goes down to Funk. Great play from Funk there. Great teamwork from SMW to move as a team together like that. When you're one player versus four players like that, it's very difficult for you to take out more than one of them. So very good play there by SMW working as a team. And they're going to be on the attack again. Now, it's important to keep in mind, SMW do have a very strong start here, but this is a CP-sided map, which means they are... <coughs> Excuse me. They are, <laughs> they are on the favored side right now, so it is expected of them to have a better performance on the CP side. And perhaps uh, when uh, the other team get a chance on the CP side, they might be able to do better than they're doing right now. We'll have to see. Uh, you, you've brought up that uh, that concept a couple times now, Soren. The uh, 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 that this is a numbers game. Uh, you mentioned uh, that in, uh, there we saw someone get four v one and just overwhelmed. Um, is that is that a is that one of the biggest draws to Bear Dunn in general? That that tactical side of things, the fact that you can't, there really is no such thing as guns blazing, especially in uh, in this in in this competitive mode. I mean, look, for certain players, obviously there are standout players who can win situations like that, but it's very rare and it's very difficult to do. Um, and, and with these teams like this, we're going to see a more tactical game because these players aren't the best players in the league right now, so they're going to have to rely much more heavily on teamwork than some of the other teams. Once we start to see Pest Control and 1E, these are teams that have some very, very skilled players who are the type of players who might win a 1v4 like that, you know, maybe once a game. But for these teams, they're going to have to play very tactically minded. And the other teams play very tactically minded too because they know they have to worry about players who can win 1v4s. So it is a very tactical game and, and moving with your teammates and always being in a position where if you die, your teammate can trade the kill. That's a very important part of playing this game competitively. Always, always take one with you. That was what, uh, that's what we were always told in hockey. 
Yep. You guys know what I'm talking about sports. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I think you should pay attention to is how uh, uh, the the composition and the organization here. Um, SMW has been doing a very good job on defense and spreading out properly. They're watching every single entrance to the trench and they are responding to uh, pushes at, quite well. Um, AJ, on the other hand, has, well, the, the idea when you're attacking is that you shouldn't have everyone spread out uh, generally. It's a good idea to have your team concentrate on one area so that you can get your push and get the foothold. Uh, it doesn't look like AJ is really in any position to get a foothold unless they quickly head into uh, their right side here, which it looks well, like. Well, Iron, Iron, Iron Storm might have a chance here going up yeah. against Banshee, but he goes down. Lone Wolfos, though. Gonna be going up against Funk. Got a nice angle on him. Arcana's gonna spawn right in his sights, but he misses the shot. He does get one down. Funk may not know where he is. I think CPU flanking around, though. Do they know that Lone Wolfos is there? I think they might not. I think CPU might have an idea going to clear him out now. It doesn't look like he can do. Oh, no. Oh. Well, they know now. He's... Well, I don't know. He might not know where he got taken from. Yeah, Arcana is doing very well, and as a Banshee as well. Two of the Looks standout like AJ players. AJ has right now. lost a player. I'm not sure if that was. Uh, they may have had a disconnect or something. I'm not sure. I'm sure, our admin staff will uh, be paying attention to that and figuring out what's going on. This uh, this carbine that Arcana is using it seems to have uh, a bit more uh, a bit more attack speed, a higher higher rate of fire than most other guns in this game. Uh, is it uh, is it also going to be limited on range? Uh, the carbines do do less damage at range, so sometimes you'll have to shoot someone twice in order to kill them with those carbines, but obviously they do have the advantage of having a much quicker bolt speed. So they are preferred by a lot of players, especially the more aggressive players who like to, to play in the trenches and, and take those close range fights. But that's not to say that almost every weapon in this game can be effective at long range if you're hitting chest and headshots. So. That's an important thing to consider. So for the very accurate players, that's not going to make a big difference. But we do see SMW on the attack once again. They've just got a good rhythm down of attack, defend, attack, defend. They're very good at transitioning from their attack phase to their defense phase. And from their defense phase to their attack phase. So we'll see this once again. They're pushing up on this far left side. CPU going to be the first one in. Might want to spectate him. He's going to be going up against Ironstorm and Neil. He's got a nice flanking position though, and he's gonna go down to Ironstorm. Ironstorm kind of the last hope here on this side for SMW. Let's see if he can take on Monica and Fafoa. Or Fafau, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name exactly, but he's gonna take down Ironstorm. And he's gonna go up against King King Dennis. Oh, and that's, that's an entire a... spawn for SMW there. That's gonna be huge for them. Oh wow. And right there, you just see the power of using those recon squads or having your NCOs and your RD squads uh, placed properly to just spawn your entire team in the enemy trench. Has uh, has either team uh, made a switch as far as uh, the squad types? I do believe that SMW has switched from one of their recon squads to an artillery squad. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Looks like they are dropping their artillery now, but they've already... That, that just shows how quick their attack is. They called in that arty strike, and by the time they hit, the arty strike came in, they had already capped the trench. That's just how. Oh no, that actually never mind. That I believe that is AJ's artillery. It might be. I'm not entirely sure. I think it would have killed some of them if it was. But AJ also switching their gas squad to an artillery squad. Um, Funk can't be using that MG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um. <laughs> so SMW, SMW may receive a penalty for that. We'll have to see. Yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, MG. Uh, but oh um, boy. <laughs> here we go. So they're gonna get a final warning for that. If they use it again, they'll probably uh, sacrifice a trench or something to the other team. I'm not we'll sure what the exact goes. rules are. That that's at admin discretion. But I don't think we're gonna. That could be uh, that could be something for uh, for uh, average Joe's to build off of here. Yeah, they may be able to get some momentum based on the fact 
You know, anger is a powerful tool in a competitive <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> and Ironstorm chasing Banshee back in, but he's not even going to get the kill on him. He's going to be really facing a firing line there on that far left side. And this is a very difficult trench to come back from, I'm not going to lie. Um, All of the ending trenches tend to be very hard to get back mm -hmm. but this one in particular. I'm not too certain what the map design idea was here. If it was just to make it so the losing team has a very hard time getting back into the trench or something. It's to make sure the losing works. team loses really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only feasible way for them to get to the trench is what they're doing now, where they're slowly traveling across their right side and hoping to get in on the far right side of the trench. Yeah, which is actually fairly yeah. protected compared to the rest of the trench, but I don't think it's going to work out well. Considering yeah. SMW is already rotating over to respond. To yeah, that. SMW is completely aware of what AJ is doing right now and rotating almost their entire team over to deal with that. But Bigaloot gonna get taken out by a nade there. He almost got in, but Arcana gonna take him out with the nade. Dennis though might be able to get in here, and he does. He's gonna have to fight CPU though straight away. And he, there's a spawn. That's gonna be huge. That's three players in for AJ, and they might be able to deal some damage here. They have the numbers right now. They are capping the trench. Wow. It looks like AJ is capping. They do have the numbers, but I don't think they, they see the spawn that's come up right next to them. Let's yeah, that's going to be problematic. Neil's going to have to deal with that. And they're going to get pushed from both sides, and that's not going to be a good situation for them to be in. Oh, and some long-range nade lobs coming in, not dealing any damage, but now it's back to just bigger loot again. Yeah, AJ with uh, with their with stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. Pretty much, pretty much. Though though good aggression from them, it's very difficult to even get into that trench um, on this map. Now they're gonna make yeah, a hard run down the long left side there. I don't know if they're going to. Uh... Ooh, we are close. We are nearing the end here. They gotta make a push. Hey, just got the foothold over time. Ooh. Wow. Uh, it doesn't look right. like it's going to last very long. Monica's gonna clean them up there. Three kills in a row there for her. And that's gonna be the first half. 3 -0. Oh, wow. That was quite a match. So that's now the teams will switch sides and we will play the second half of the match. It's 3 0 so far for SMW. Uh, that makes it very difficult for AJ to win. Uh, they would have to. Already they would have to, yeah, they would have to 3-0 uh, SMW in return in order for it to be a tie, and then we would have to go, I believe, to Kells is what we go to after that. Stall, I'm not kills, entirely yeah. sure. Yeah, it's Kells. All right. Uh, looks like what team is attacking first? Let's see here. We're still waiting for the players to spawn in. But hopefully, we do have Entente attacking first. And it looks like they are. Yes, yep, they Entente are. Is attacking first, so we are live. It'll be interesting to see what sort of attacking tactic SMW take. At the start of the round completely here. bum rush this left side, and, and it looks that like looks that's like exactly what they're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Here they, they go. Are, they're gonna leave Fabian and Manchie behind, and Neil gonna take off some picks. Oh, no, Fabian no. and Manchie staying behind a pick while the rest of their team push up. And so far, pretty effective. They're gonna get CPU in there. And he's gonna like flip through. He's gonna distract. To he's gonna distract them while Arcana comes in from the other side, and JoJo now in a tough situation. But Kif Kifferin comes in and. Helps him out. Now Bigaloot gonna be in trouble as Funk and Monica make it into this far left side. And now Banshee and Fabian are gonna start working their way up as well. Very aggressive start from SMW here. It looks like Fabian disconnected. I'm not too sure what happened there. Hopefully yeah, he may, have, he may have had a disconnect. And SMW over. has another disconnect, not looking good for them. No, but I mean, they're still doing pretty good on this attack considering they're down two players. Yep, that's true. But hopefully the whoa, lots of SMW players disconnecting. Fabian is back. Hopefully we'll get the other two players back here momentarily. Oh. Of course. Should be pointed out that a majority of these players are from uh, South America, so. So lag may be a, a bit of a problem for them. Yeah. But still doing a very, very good job against this AJ lineup. 
AJ Iron is Star. actually doing a fairly good job at keeping this foot hold. Let's see how. Mm, it doesn't. It looks like they are still holding it. Yeah. I don't think yeah. they are going to be losing this stretch just yet. AJ, AJ, doing the best we've seen them do so far. An Artie strike going to be coming in. I think that is SMW's Artie strike, but I'm not entirely sure. Funk and Banshee going to be holding on here as Kiffin pushes up. You might want to spectate Banshee here, the standout player so far for SMW. And that's going to spawn in an entire squad there. They're going to push up. They're going to go up against Jojo. He's going to go down. But not without taking two of them with them. They are back down to two players. Three, excuse me. That in the trench. Arcana going to come in the middle here, though. Might get a good chance to flank Neil. And he is. SMW holding that back corner hard right Very now. good job with uh, Lone Wolf of so holding out. Yeah, Lone Wolf did good there, but now SMW have control of the middle of the trench as well with Arcana there. And it looks like it's... with only two AJ players alive, they... Nope, they just spawn and they get to... They're back to holding. But a great play by Arcana there to jump up on the trench and take out those two players. Indeed. Or at least just distract them for, for his teammates. Looks well, like getting a little bit too aggressive here, SMW might lose the foothold. It looks like Fulcrow is the last one. Yeah, so he they, needs to fall back. He should not be taking this gunfight right now. He really he should. Dies. That was very risky, but he's still able to spawn and spawn in. But it does yeah. not look like it's an ideal position. And, no. They are quickly getting surrounded by the AJ players. They need to push out and secure a better foothold if they want to continue keeping it. Right now, it's not looking good for them. And that's going to go and down they AJ. Lose the foothold. And AJ now has an attempt to attack. And SMW is in no position to really hold off pending attack, especially one on the hill. And it looks like AJ is going to be abusing that. Banshee pushing up the hill, though. He's going to get there before AJ do. Again, the slowness of AJ's attack and the sort of indecisiveness we've seen from them going to punish them. They could have had control of that hill, but Neil instead decided to fall back and spawn his teammates in the no man's land. But he is like Neil is going to skip the hill and go all the way for his far right side. But CPU is going to spot him, not going to be able to kill him, but just the knowledge that he's there, Fabian's going to be able to meet him and take him out. And CPU now alone going to have to try and take back this hill. Good play from him, only Bigaloo left in a good position. CPU is not going to be able to take him out. With no one on the hill, AJ should really just bum rush it and try and keep the foothold on the hill. Lone Wolfos. It might not be the best now that all of the SMW players are focused on the hill. Lone Wolfos in the core position right now versus three. He takes out the first two, only Banshee left. Lone Wolfos starting to be a standout player for this AJ lineup. Banshee's going to take him out, but playing very well so far this half, Lone Wolfos. Looks like SM. W might have over rotated there. Their finger is now completely exposed. Which, if AJ knew, they would be able to exploit that. But I'm not too certain if they know. See, if yeah, you no. over rotate, you have all of your team on one side of the map. Then it will be, uh, it could easily be exploited by the opposing team if they know where you are. That's why recon is actually the recon play is actually very helpful. With it. it looks like and AJ did end up uh, using the finger, but yep. With just Nile left there, I'm not too certain how long they need to keep that foothold. Certainly the best attack phase so far we've seen from AJ though. And Ironstorm's gonna get a chance at Banshee. Ironstorm making a big play here. He might get taken out by Arcana though. Though he just makes it around the corner. I'd watch Ironstorm right now. Ah, oh, he does get taken down in the end, but that uh, yeah, that that counterattack seemed to uh, take uh, take SMW by surprise there. Yeah, definitely. And it looks like AJ. This is, a, this is a really back and forth round. Of course, all, of course, all SMW need to do is not lose three trenches. AJ they needs can, to get in the trench right now if they want to recover. SMW knows that all they need to do is just hold them off. As, as long as SMW doesn't lose terribly, they're fine. And that's going to give them a lot of confidence. You know, okay, yeah, we might be down right now, but unless they completely roll us in the next 20 minutes, we'll be okay. We just have to put up a fight. It doesn't even have. We don't have to win. We just have to put up a fight, and we know we have it in the bag. So that's SMW definitely, definitely playing a little more conservative. Yeah, that's definitely a big advantage. Very going good job for Niles getting in on the uh, 
on his far left side and spawning in his team. And now have a pretty significant foothold there. Nile and has definitely done a very good job of getting in good positions to spawn his teammates. And the timing looks perfect. They might, they should be going into foothold over time there, you know. And SMW is now going to have to turn their attention to clean out this foothold. And if the AJ team is very good at holding this hallway, it should be very hard for SMW to clean them out. They and should look, not be pushing. But now it's just Banshee yeah. holding the hill, though. And they've taken the hill because... Yeah, look at that. SMW gets distracted by that foothold on the right-hand side. There and now, now only on two the SMW players alive, and they are both taken out quickly. Uh, AJ might actually have a chance at taking this trench. Looks like the SMW spawn is in, but I'm not sure if they'll be able to get in in time. Yeah, we do actually, have about... It's 60% cap right now. They might keep capping, though. We'll see here. They're I think continue it's... capping, yep. Yeah. They're continuing to cap. If they just stay alive and don't die here... Very close. It's very close. They just have to play passive. I wouldn't be pushing up like King Dennis is here. And that's going to be a cap. And that's the right. cap. An amazing. Very good job from AJ there. Let's see how long they can uh, keep it. Yeah, because SMW are going to be right on that attack straight away. And that artillery by Neil doing some work there. Taking out half of their team there. Absolutely devastating. And it looks like uh, the SMW team is completely wiped and AJ holds the trench. That artillery is going to be huge because it's going to give AJ a great chance to spread out throughout the trench and sort of set up their defense. They need to get on that left side quickly. Big Luke Neil and King Dennis moving over there. Looks like the SMW team is kind of spreading out in their attack. Uh, they, look, they might want to concentrate on their right side and mid. But Looks like they're pushing like, for a mid on the right side mostly. Yeah. They might actually get an entrance on the middle here with Big Loot being the only person holding against uh, much better rotate much better rotations this half though from AJ. Ironstorm already rotating over, seeing that there's a problem. And not noticing Big Loot is Funk, but Funk finally sees him turns around. And this is gonna be a good foothold for SMW now. Uh, Jojo gonna be able to push up on that hill though, but Monica's gonna maybe push up there and try and face him first. He's a little worried about there being players in there though, and he he blows himself up. <laughs> Jojo being a little uh, rambunctious. I missed that. Was, that. was that a grenade? Yeah, he killed himself with his own nade. Ooh. Getting a little uh, bit rambunctious there with the, the grenade use. Uh, and SMW, like SMW is going to recap. It's gonna be all down to Fabian now, though, against this spawn. He's gonna have to notice Kifferin. Kifferin's gonna land right on top of him and stab him, though. And Funk, now the one with the pressure on him. Makes a good decision to fall back there. Not get taken out by Jojo or King Dennis. But the finger is now AJ's. Let's see how the cap is going. SMW. Close to capping. They were close to capping, but now it's getting decapped by AJ. They got a little bit too aggressive there. They could have had a chance to get that capture back. Banshee gonna uh, take I just the noticed there is, I think, an AJ player on the SMW side. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to need to swap, swap teams there. <laughs> Might be a good idea to swap there. <laughs> oh boy. So it looks like AJ does have eight players now. That'll be interesting to see how that goes for them. But SMW with their full seven now. And again, I can't stress this enough. SMW are happy with this back and forth situation in this trench. Because they know, time. they know that they'll win the map if they just, you know, continue keeping the fight in this trench. As At this long point, as with 14 minutes left, it will be very hard to do a complete capture. I mean, it's definitely possible, but... It's possible, yes, but it'd be very hard to do. Oh, it looks like... They are fairly outnumbered in the trench right now. If AJ were able to get in, in time... It does not look like that's going to end in AJ's favor, actually. SMW is still holding. Does... actually, no. They are losing their trench. Like Fabian, is he last alive? But yeah. he does is able to spawn in four players for his team. Yeah. 
And they're gonna... Oh, nice nade, though, from JoJo. Great nade from JoJo. Gets two kills. Beautiful. Get together with the rifle. Get away from him there. Making up for his, uh, martyrdom earlier. Just to be clear for our viewers, there is no actual martyrdom. Uh, no. No Call of Duty style. <laughs> grenade drop, throw your controller across the room, screw this, and run away. <laughs> no, there is none of that. I was just referring to his, uh... Uh, very good job to AJ, capping the trench back again. I think, uh, offensively, they're doing much better than they were last round. Uh, yes. Nile is doing very well with his, uh, with his army, and the team just... They're communicating. They, they think they've, uh... They've gotten a hold of, uh, how they play, and they're using it effectively. Yeah, between being a, getting that experience in the first half, improving in their communication, obviously they are on the favorite side this time, and now up a player, but all those things are going to contribute to them having a much better side. That's not to discredit them, they are actually playing much better than they played in the first half. Every, yeah, Average Joe's uh, uh, attacks just seem uh, much more coordinated. Um, much more on the same page, and SMW seems to be um, uh, a little bit more on their heels all throughout the round. Yeah, and SMW had a bit of a rough start, like when yep. I saw the people disconnecting. I don't think SMW is like really changing things up here. I think AJ is just getting better. Well, I think they know that they're not winning, but they're not losing enough to be worried. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. But AJ actually having a defense this time, which is just a huge improvement from last time where their defensive spread was just non-existent. Now SMW though, gonna have a good chance here to push in on this right side. And Arcana does take out Kiprin. So that's gonna be a big chance. And Arcana making a big push right now, definitely spectate him. But he's gonna take him down. Be taken like down by JoJo. Somewhat short -lived. Yeah, Funk the only one left now, and he spawns in Fabian. Fabian. Looking into the no man's, maybe not the direction you should be looking in, looking down towards Jojo, and he's gonna get picked off. Great position by Jojo, laying between a bunch of corpses. Definitely hard to spot a prone player in a position like that. Looks like CPU and Fothel. I don't know how to pronounce his name. They're <laughs> going to be going for a foothold here on their far left side. I believe um, it's pronounced Fafam! <laughs> 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 That's probably correct. <laughs> and he did a very good job at holding off there. Uh, Niles. Actually, Niles Banshee, excuse me. And they're able to spawn in their team there, but it does not look like it's going to be holding up while they have players. I mean, SMW just doing a Both great job. Both sides just obliterated each other there. SMW, they're not winning this trench, but they're, they're winning the game by making sure that AJ don't win this trench. Right. Can't putting up just enough of a fight here to slow him down. Exactly. It's a game of attrition now for SMW. Not the actual game mode. There is a game mode called attrition in this game, but this is still for life. <laughs> but they're playing in a, a sort of, you know, attrition style where really they just have to, you know, they just have to grind them down and make sure they don't don't get to ever get to attack again. As long as SMW remain on the attack, they're happy. And it looks like we do have full teams for both teams, so this is good. This means that in the following matches, we will have full teams for everyone, which is obviously uh, a delight to see. Banshee playing kind of a tricky position here. We have to kind of face two angles at a time, but CPU able to help him break out of there. And looks like there's going to be a clear left side here for SMW. There's a good chance they can get in, but the spawn does come in for AJ on the hill, which may give AJ them a chance to, to get into the trench in order to keep the the hold, otherwise uh, SMW is going to start uh, recapping. As of right now, SMW has six players in the trench, and so looks like they're capping with that, so AJ will yeah, have to respond very it's gonna be down. taking that momentum back. It's going to be down to Ironstorm here to clean out some of these players. He's playing in a good position. SMW, I'm not sure I would be pushing if I were them right now, but we'll have to see how it goes for them. SMW. Let's see how they're going. Not capping the trench yet, but just keeping it around half cap this entire time, which is an impressive feat in and of itself. 
AJ seems running. to be uh, moving their firepower all to one spot, and then uh, one one or two SMW guys just sneaks in the other side. Uh, could it be that they're they're just not managing their um, their their resources well enough? They're not spread out well enough. Yeah, and, and they're using nades, but we're not seeing super effective nade use from them. Those nades can be thrown a little bit farther. If, if there was a nade in the middle of that SMW pack, you could clear them out. They're being thrown a little bit close, though. But yeah, just just clumping up a little bit too much. Not really using any flanking maneuvers or anything like that. Though Neil coming in now, and and I have to hand it to SMW. Whenever AJ do try a flanking maneuver, SMW are very good at realizing it. Uh, Looks very like we are two kills it. away from the uh, momentum. Um, which yeah. basically means that if the attackers are able to get two more kills on the defenders, then they will gain momentum and it will give them more time to cap the trench, as opposed yeah. to the regular foothold over time. Which basically means that if they get the momentum and then all of the attackers were to die, they wouldn't uh, lose the trench, per se. Yes. It's definitely a very good thing to get. Being in foothold over time is a scary situation because you know you always have to have someone in that trench or you are losing it. So getting that uh, momentum would definitely be good for the SMW side to give them some comfortability. And if they get that momentum, there's pretty much no chance for AJ to win. I think they're we're closing in on just the amount of time it would take them where if AJ played the rest of the match perfectly, they could tie it up. But we're getting to a situation where that's going to be nearly impossible now. One of the things I like seeing, uh, both sides are, are using their planes quite wisely. Um, the beauty of recon planes is you see on the mini map. Um, we will, the spectators can see where people on both sides are, but uh, when you're in the game, you can't. So you know, the recon planes will show you uh, where your enemies are for a brief period of time, which is very crucial in games like this, as it allows you to tell your teammates where your uh, where the opponents are. So you can respond quickly. And it looks yes. like both sides are using this quite effectively. Responding to breaches almost instantly. It looks like SMW be, uh, is currently capping, but... Is there going to be a certain squad that might be uh, better for a a AJ for, uh, for them to use at this moment? Um, to uh, to maybe cap a bit quicker, push them out a little quicker? Um, is, there, is there a desperation move they can make right now? I mean, it's hard to say. They could switch to recon, but obviously Neil has been doing very well with the artillery. I think, I think they're playing with what they're comfortable with. I just, I just think, I don't know if they have the tools necessary to be able to, to just clean SMW out of the trench. I mean, this can be a very difficult trench to cap when you have a scrappy team like SMW, because there's all these nice sort of like corridors and trenches easily leading in to let you get in, and lots of good flanking spots. So I, I just think AJ are in a difficult situation where they kind of had to come out and play a perfect game and it's a little bit too late for them to recover at this point. I mean, I, yeah, I literally don't think... Even if they capped this trench right now and went on the attack, I don't think they would have enough time to cap the they next trenches. They wouldn't have enough time, yeah. I think this is just about a for AJ. Very, very good job, though. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, as far as the, the improvements from the first half to the second, I mean, they were massive. It just wasn't quite enough to, to bring the game back, but definitely great recovery from them, and it'll be interesting to see how they do in their next couple of matches, uh, because obviously uh, they're, they're a team that hasn't really played that much competitive before, haven't played competitive together. So we're going to see them improve, I think, as this entire tournament goes along. And now uh, SMW know they're in a good situation. They're going to be super comfortable. AJ are going to know they're in trouble. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw an SMW cap of this trench come up now. Obviously, uh, for a team like AJ, when you know that there's problems here and that you're probably not going to win this map, you lose a little bit of your uh, spunk, I guess you could say. And that is going to be a cap for SMW just a moment ago. Mm. And now AJ on the attack again. AJ looking quite demoralized right now. Their, uh, their, their attacks were pretty pretty uncoordinated as it was. Uh, but yeah, they, they, are, they are leaking in at the moment. 
They shouldn't be too disappointed in themselves, though. The improvement over the match was quite vast. Much more they, competitive. If they can continue improving in that way in the next couple of matches, they could see themselves in the semifinals. So we'll have to see how they do. Mm hmm. But yeah, that's pretty much the match. We've got three minutes left to close it out. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the scores here. Neil, definitely the standout player in this half for the Central Powers. Those artillery strikes were very effective. Uh, Jojo playing very as well as as well as uh, Iron Storm and Lone Wolf Uh Those are definitely the and Kefirin coming in not too far behind. Those are definitely some of the standout players for that side. On the uh, Anton Powers' side, we have CPU doing very well. Banshee, I think, the uh, tied for top fragger on the server with Neil. Fabian doing very well, obviously a very experienced player. Um, sort of the expected high scores, obviously seeing a new, few new players like JoJo and Lone Wolfos aren't really players I've seen play competitively before, so seeing them have a decent path is uh, definitely a good thing to see. Yeah, we'll see We'll see if, uh, if Neil's able to, or Neil, if... Uh... Uh, if if AJ is able to take the the momentum that they were able to build in this match and, and carry it over into the into the into the next one here, um, which will be uh, at six ten. Although we do seem to be running about ten minutes behind schedule at the moment. Um, Average Joe's uh, will be playing again versus Cuck, uh, which is something I have to say with a straight face. <laughs> uh, Trust me, it was intentional. <laughs> well, at least, not, sure. at, least, at least you're not having to cast the European team coiling penises. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I, believe, I believe that was an actual, uh, that was an actual platoon in World War One. I, I actually. Yeah, the, yes. So. Uh, Finnish coiling penises, uh, obviously. It's, it's the Finnish coiling penises. It's an homage, really. It's classy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next game we got coming up is gonna be is gonna be Cuck versus uh, versus SMW. Um, if SMW uh, wins there, that uh, uh, assures them a spot in the semifinals. Hold up, yes. boys! We might have a last minute cap here. Oh, yes, it could be a last minute cap for SMW if they continue this attack. Though it looks like AJ doing a decent job of clearing them up. Yeah, they're not capping anymore. It's it's a stalemate. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they got this cap at this point. I mean, it's definitely possible, but AJ have much more players around the trench right now than SMW do. So I think we're going to end the game with a 5-2 score for SMW, which uh, AJ putting up a good fight, getting those two caps in the second half, not bad. Too little, too late, but uh, a valiant effort from, from average Joe's. Yeah, I'm definitely glad that we didn't just see a sweep in the second half. It's good to see some competitive play from these teams. That's mm -hmm. what we want to see in a tournament like this, and uh, I'm glad we got it. Uh, very good job to both teams. Yeah, very good job. Final Excellent score game, is, uh, guys. is five points for SMW and two points for Average Joes. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in for our first match. We got uh, the Cuck Holders and uh, SMW uh, playing next um, in the Verdun <laughs> North American Verdun Championships. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll be right back with you guys.